Cocoa Farmers Forum has been held at Gosu in the Bunohafu region to educate farmers on the use of chemicals, especially new ones. A scientist from the Cocoa Research Institute of Ghana, Craig, Dr. Joseph Arthur, reminded farmers that new chemicals for use in the industry must be researched for, into, for at least five years by the Cocoa Research Institute of Ghana before it can be passed for use. Dr. Arthur consequently urged farmers to check on this before accepting new chemicals for use. Cocoa farmers across West Africa are worried for their livelihoods after the European Union EU announced plans to reject the import of cocoa beans containing certain levels of heavy metals. New European regulations on cadmium in cocoa beans have increased the burden on African producers, including Ghana. The measures are due to take effect by the end of April this year. West Africa grows 75% of the world's 3.9 metric tons global supply of cocoa, with the bulk of the beans ending up in Europe. The EU move follows a January 2012 report into cadmium content in chocolate by the European Food Safety Authority Scientific Panel on Contaminants in the Food Chain. It has recommended that cocoa imports containing more than 0.2 milligrams per kilogram of cadmium be turned back. Cadmium is a bluish white metal used in the production of fertilizers, pesticides, batteries, plastics, glass and steel plating. Upon release into the environment, cadmium accumulates in the soil and water. Medical research has established that, besides causing cancer, it provokes kidney failure, high blood pressure, and bone and reproduction complications. The latest chemical is a fertilizer supplement called Yara Liver Nitrable, which experts say complements the government subsidized as a zebra fertilizer with nitrate, boron, and calcium. Scientists say this makes cocoa beans bigger, heavier, and healthier earning more for farmers at the scale. The Healthier Cocoa Campaign consequently took this message to cocoa farmers in growing areas. At Gorosu Cocoa Area, farmers came from Sunyain West District, Tano South and Doma East. Dr. Arthur, a scientist of the Cocoa Research Institute, stressed that any chemical applied during the cocoa growing process leaves a residue in the crop. If the residue exceeds the maximum residue leave, it is rejected by international buyers. Hence, the need for chemicals to undergo stringent checks for their suitability before use. Before we accept application of any fertilizer, it has to undergo a research for about five years before it will be used. Another scientist from Creek, Dr. Alex Efrifa, took the participants through the process of applying nitrable. The fertilizer, which is applied using the dispersal method, must be used six weeks after the application of the Asasira cocoa fertilizer. He introduced the farmers to a dispensing apron designed to facilitate application of the new fertilizer. The retail and sales manager of Yara, Henry Otumensa, stressed that training of farmers in quality and timing of fertilizer application is crucial to getting the best out of such products. Two farmers GTV News interviewed were concerned about the price of fertilizer. The price is too high. We wish government will reduce it for us.